You see, let me give you an example. I was in, I was in Mia Flores in, in Lima, Peru, preaching, doing things at night, one night, when the biggest bomb in the history of that war blew up about a block and a half away, 2,000 pounds of TNT. We were all running for our lives. Buildings are falling on our head. There's blood everywhere. And I thought to myself, I need to run. I need to run. I need to run. I need to get to those people. Get to those people. They're going to die. They're going to die. They're going to die. I get there, and I'm running full speed, and I slip on the blood that's everywhere. I grab somebody, and I haul them out. I go in and grab somebody. I haul them out. I could do that. But I couldn't fix them. I was never trained as a doctor. I held a man dying in my arms years before who'd been shot six times through the heart. I grabbed a towel, pulled him against me, and we hit the floor. I could do my best, but I wasn't a doctor. Most guys who are sent to the mission field, they're really not missionaries. They've got to be able to open this book and not just say, I want to do something, I want to do something. They've got to actually be able to do something. Open their mouth and proclaim the Word of God. And order the church according to the laws of our God. Not suggestions, laws. I had a young man come to me one time. He came, he calls me up on the phone. He says, I want to come to Peru. I just want to come to Peru. I said, all right. He says, I want to come to Peru. I just want to give my life away. I just want to give my life away. I said, how are you in your study of scripture? Well, you know, that's kind of a weak spot with me. I really struggle. Sometimes I don't even read my Bible. I'm just, but I just want to give my life away. How are you in intercessory prayer? In the night watch? Well, you know, I really struggle in that. Oh, okay. Um, evangelism, street evangelism, street preaching. Well, look, Paul, look, look, Mr. Washer, I just, I just want to give my life away. I said, young man, there's nobody here in Peru who needs your life. They need God and someone who can open up his mouth and tell them about God. One of the greatest missionaries alive today is a friend of the elders of my church, Anthony, friends of myself. He, he's one of the most, never met a man like him. He's been beat up more times. <laughs> he told his wife a while back, honey, you're going to have to stop getting me in fights that my body can't win anymore. He's out in a place I can't even mention. And this is what he always says. If one more floppy top teenager with really cool hiking shoes and a keen backpack comes walking through my mountain range one more time, dropping tracks out of his backpack and riding home in code so that all the people go ooh and ah. He says, I think I'm going to throw up. We need men who know their God. Men who know the Word of God. Men who love the church. Not some little cloud of thing called the church not something you can't see and touch men who love the church and are willing to die for the church and I can tell you this I can tell you this if you believe in the sovereignty of God if you believe in the power of the Word of God if you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit and intercessory prayer. You can go into the deepest hell hole in the world and you can have the confidence that if you will stand there and preach long enough, strong enough, and persevere everything they throw at you, somebody's coming out of there saved. Somebody's coming out of there saved. That's what missions is about. Good day.